did, uh, did it, I was watching uh, Saturday Night Live, right? And they had Kanye West on. And he did these two songs. Like, now he, apparently he's, like, uh, apparently he, he's, he's in, uh, like, crass, apparently. Now he's, like, some kind of anarchist punk. Look, I like those songs. He did plenty. They're all stripped down, and they're... He's railing about the, all this stuff, and... But it's like, this is what I'll say. He's also the dude who's made records where he just brags about the stuff he bought to a point where I could not take it anymore. I had to stop listening. I liked I liked those albums a lot at first. But then his his record was just like it was so uh like it, it could not it could not uh, handle it. It was it was like this it just uh, 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 bragging about uh or the the watch the throne thing he did with the, with the uh, with Jay Z was the the absolute worst. These two dudes just everybody's losing their jobs, and 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 these two dimwits do an album where all they do is talk about everything they own, and how they can afford super expensive stuff. It's like hey, it's like having it rubbed in your face. So now now all of a sudden this is the same dude that I, I got to say like oh now apparently this guy is against all that stuff and I have to believe him. What? I believe he's got to walk the walk for a little bit. He's hey, he's a guy who like, he talks the talk plenty. Talks the talk. All he does is talk the talk. Very easy to say. Talk the talk. Talk yeah, I'm against it all. I'm against uh, 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 buying all this stuff. It makes everybody uh, a slave of the culture. Look, it's all. Those lyrics were spot on, but it sounds like I got to see him walk the walk for a little bit with it before I'll. I'll uh, 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 this is also the same dude who. Uh, it's also the same dude who was uh, uh, like saying like we got to get homophobia out of hip hop, and then a year later he's saying on a record uh, no homo, like. Like he forgot that speech he was making about how homophobia has no place in hip hop. Yeah, he's not. He's not very good at walking the walk. He, he'll talk. He'll talk the talk. And look, I was at that show. That that first this thing was. It was at the Adult Swim upfronts. They had Kanye West perform at it. It's a giant thing for advertisers and. Uh, I got so caught up in it, I bought ads for, I bought nine hundred thousand dollars worth of ads for Adult Swim. So keep an eye out for them. The ads are basically me asking for money for the nine hundred thousand dollars worth of ads I just signed off on. I'm hoping to break even. So he, um, yeah, and look, it was great. It was this amazing party. Everybody was having a great time, seeing all these friends. And then, all of a sudden, the curtain goes up, and there's this giant pyramid on the stage. And this guy's in the middle of it. It's all blurry. You can't even see him. And he starts singing these songs with an, to, like, with an iPad he had with him. No band. Man, what a cash grab that must have been for that dude. Played that thing. He must, how much money did he get paid that night? I can only imagine how. Oh, it's got to be well over a million dollars for an advertising event like that. Yeah. And it was great to be there. I had a great time being there, seeing all this guy's doing these songs. And it's like one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Him yelling and... Uh, Singing along. It's like he was singing along uh, in the shower. He might as well have been in a shower up there. Look. This is Kanye West. 
Look, if he'll, if he'll, if he's gonna, if this is where the the path he's taking, I'm all for it, man. You think I want to burn the system down? If I had my way, we'd be right in the streets every day. Flamethrowers, hunting down bankers. That's the world we'd live in. If I had my way, we'd be like children of men. V for vendetta. Be half and half. Half of those, half and half of those. That's what we'd be doing. The good part of V for Vendetta, when the when the good guys are winning. The road. The, I didn't see the road. I didn't read. I didn't read it or see it. So yeah. So. This con. It was Kanye West. It's like. I had a, I, 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 I don't know, man. Is this going to stick? He's also with, uh, is, uh, he's also having a baby with a uh, Kanye, with a uh, Kim Kardashian. So it's not exactly like he's, uh, this counterculture guy now. I don't know if he's going to be, uh, writing for ad busters anytime soon. Gonna bring his giant pyramid down to uh, uh, down to Gilman Street. Get reviewed in Maximum Rock and Roll. New Kanye West. So look again. It's a good thing he did he did that, but let's see if it goes somewhere. Let's see. I have my doubts. The phone number, 201-209-9368. Have you seen, there's this commercial for Guitar Center, which is, uh, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play the audio on this, and then you you tell me what you think of this. Tell me what you think. Let's let's see what people think when we hear the audio on this. Guitar Center is where I hang out because I can play anything I want for as long as I want. Which means if I'm not at home, gonna back it up. Or for drinks after. Hold on up. Back it up. So this is, uh, it says Los Angeles. And then this guy, it, just picture the main guy in the commercial. He's going into a, uh, into a, uh, a guitar center. And he was walking in with his guitar case. Let's just listen to what he says, and then I'll describe parts of the commercial. People go to the gym at lunch or for drinks after work. Guitar Center is where I hang out because I can play anything I want for as long as I want. Which means if I'm not at home or at work, I'm here. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. I mean, the people here, they've become my friends. Six years after I walked into Guitar Center, I'm in a band, I'm recording an EP, and have a great collection of gear. And if I can go from knowing nothing about music to all this, who knows what coming in here is going to do for you. All right. I don't know how to break it to this guy. The people at Guitar Center are not your friends. They work there. Yeah, I go hang out there, and they're they're my friends. And I'm sure that when you come walking through the door, they're saying, oh, no. Here comes this guy again. As somebody who worked retail for, I'm going to say, at this, uh, yeah, most of my life still, still most of my life there is no way on earth that this guy is actually friends with any of these people at Guitar Center I go in there and I can just hang out as long as I want and just play the stuff how mad do you think Guitar Center employees were around the country when this awesome ad campaign got launched Basically telling dudes, and it is dudes, it's just dudes. Hey, go to Guitar Center. We're telling everybody, go to Guitar Center. 
hang out as long as you want, and you can't get thrown out. And that if you hang out there long enough, you can consider these people your friends. Friends. Guy just says the word friends. Might be the saddest thing I ever heard in my life. I go there and they're my friends. You gotta hear this again. You wanna see this commercial, Mike? Yeah. You gotta see this with this guy. This poor guy. I don't know who he thinks he is. Here, do you wanna put headphones on to hear this guy? I heard it once. I'll... One in one dot com. One in one dot com. Some people go to the gym at lunch or for drinks after work. Guitar Center is where I hang out because I can play anything I want for as long as I want. Yeah. Which means if I'm not at Mike home L. At work, oh no, I'm here. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> is that his guy's name is Mike L. <laughs> Customer since 2006. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way home now. I mean, the people here, they become my friends. Six years after I walked into Guitar Center, yeah. I'm in a band, okay. recording an EP. Yeah, he plays every... <laughs> he's playing guitars. He's taking all the guitars down. And look, I worked in a music store. The worst thing in the world was when some dumb guitar player came in. It would be like, like, can I try that one? Fine. I'll take it down for you. Mm -hmm. Now this guy's sitting, he's playing keyboards. Is he recording there? He's too? recording. He's like, huh, <laughs> recording. I'm recording an EP. He's like, Bragg, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I got a thing. Oh, the people at Guitar Center are my friends now. These people, these people are not your friends. You are the most hated customer at Guitar Center. Mike L. Sorry, Mike L. I have a great collection of gear. And if I can go from knowing nothing about music to all this, who knows what coming in here is going to do for you. I'm amazed they even got through a take of showing the employees not rolling their eyes as he walks in front of them. Like, it would, be, it would probably be like he's walking through, and then they're like, oh, boy, it's him again. Oh. You take care of them. Like people doing uh, rock, paper, scissors to see who has to take care of this guy. All right, who's going to take care of Mike? Oh, God, Mike is like watching him on the security camera. Oh, he's here. They see him in the parking lot. No. No. Oh, this guy. He, yeah, they're my friends. If I was in guitar, I, I'd start a, I'd start a uh, campaign to get this, a, a camp, this a, a, a ads removed. Guitar Center. Yeah, we're all, f they're my friends. I thought you guys would be my friends. That's no, going to be psychos in Guitar Center. I thought you guys were my friends. Hey guys, I'm, uh, guys, I thought I'd go check out, uh, Fast and Furious uh, 6 this weekend. You guys want to head over? Yeah, Mike, uh, I don't know if we can. I don't know. I thought you guys were my friends. <laughs> Here, okay. I got mocked at a store one time. Yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't the store owner. It was a guy who literally hung out at this record store all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, he was always there whenever I went in there. I, I you know I I, I I worked near this record store. It was in Manhattan, and so I'd go in there, you know, on my lunch hour and look around, see what they had. But so I, I didn't buy something every time I went in there. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm looking. But you yeah. were an actual customer. Yeah. Of the oh, store. I did buy stuff occasionally. Yeah. 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 But uh, there was this guy who was literally there every time I went in there. Mm -hmm. He wasn't behind the counter, so I'm not going to blame or name the, the, the record store I went into. But one time as I'm walking out, I hear this guy just say, you know, bef before I was out of earshot, oh, there's that A-hole <laughs> okay. who never buys anything or something like that, to that yeah. effect. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I didn't go back in. I didn't close a scene because I knew... He's just like a hanger on. He wasn't yeah. really, you know, an employee there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it happens. You know, like I can vouch for that. You know, just, you, you show up too many times, and somebody's not going to. Uh, like I worked, I worked at a store. These people would walk through the door. I would die a little bit inside <laughs> when I'd see one of these, uh -huh. one of these hangout people. Yeah. yeah. During my, a lot of people go to bars and uh, do stuff mm -hmm. uh, when they. Uh, 
hang, uh, you know, after work. I go to Guitar Center. Yeah. If I'm not at home or at work, this is where I am. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, could you imagine this guy <laughs> playing, <laughs> playing guitar, uh-huh. strumming away? Uh-huh. Hey, maybe I'll do an EP. An EP. <laughs> How many copies of that EP is this guy going to sell? I don't know. I'd say if he can sell more than 10, that's... I'd say the over-under is 10 yeah, on 10. this guy. Yeah, 10. But hey, like him going back into Guitar Center with his EP, just had it uh, pressed up. Uh-huh. You guys think I should uh, have it... Like, it'd be, And you know we do it just on CD. It would be just a, like a CD EP, mm-hmm. which... Is just garbage. Yeah, like a C D E P. Maybe we can clamor for it on uh, Twitter. Do they have a Twitter uh, account? Mike L. Yeah, for his E P. Well, no, Guitar Center probably has one. We could just go on there and when's that? When's that Mike L? Hey, when's EP Mike L? Yeah, when's Mike L? <laughs> Mike L's E P dropping? <laughs> Anybody have a release date on this? I'm sure it's going to be good. And it shows him playing keyboards. He's playing every other guitar in the store. He's he's made a mixing uh, station. Mm-hmm. Oh, this EP. <laughs> what if it, the greatest thing? What if if you heard it, and it was the craziest music you've ever heard? Like it sounded like half Japanese or something. Mm-hmm. Like, well, there's lots of sort of bluesy type music in the background during the ad. So yeah, I, I imagine that's kind of his his uh, area of mm-hmm. expertise. But what if this? What if Mike's music sounded like this? What if this was Mike's music? All of a sudden, like, hey, here's Mike L's EP. Let's check it out. Then I'd be like, uh-huh. I was like, all right, this guy. He surprised you. Yeah. Like, he's not bad. Like, all right, Mike L. Yeah. Didn't see him in him. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he, I didn't know he had it in him. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I cover uh, 10th Avenue Freeze Out on it. And I'm like, oh, boy. What's that going to sound like? And then it sounds like this. 